Now on to parents and students sounding the alarm tonight about bed bugs and mold concerns at a Luzerne County school. Some students say they're not returning to school until they are confident the problems are resolved. Eyewitness News lead IT reporter Andy Mahalshik joins us live now in the borough of Pringle. Andy. Well, good evening, Mark. We are at the Westside CTC, the Career Technical Center in Pringle Borough. Now, parents and students reached out to the IT team this week saying they did not feel that school officials were doing enough to take care of what they call a bed bug problem as well as mold issues. But this afternoon, school officials tell us and parents and students that they feel the school is indeed safe and they're handling those problems. I think they could do a little bit better with it. Andrew Hartman and Emily Davis say they and many of their classmates at the Westside CTC are fed up with bed bugs and mold. These photos were sent to Eyewitness News by another student. It shows what appears to be bed bugs. Another photo shows stains on walls inside modular classrooms. I think they should spray the whole school. I mean, I know that's not going to solve the whole problem because if someone's bringing them in, they could spray the whole school and the next day it's already back in. But I think they should at least try and figure out who's bringing them in or at least narrow it down to the certain kids. They don't like do anything to help the students with it. They just say they're going to take care of it and then they just spray and then it comes back again. And they never like talk to the students about it. They always just let it go. But school administrator Dr. Tom Duffy says they are taking steps to address both problems. Parents should be very confident that we've been working directly with our pest management contractor who has performed a complete inspection uh, in treated areas uh, in accordance with best practice and regulation. Plus, he says they're going one step further. In an overabundance of caution, uh, our pest management contractor at our request will be back in the school early next week uh, with a canine unit that actually inspects uh, the building for, uh, for the insects. Duffy says suspected mold in the modular classrooms was removed. Plus, we had air quality testing done uh, in those units and all of that came back um, in a manner that allows us to continue to use, use those classroom spaces. And Dr. Duffy points out that he says more than 700 people go in and out of the school each and every day, and that increases the chance that bed bugs can be brought in. Now, those canines will be brought in this week. That's something to see. We've covered these kinds of stories in the past. Those dogs actually can sniff out bed bugs. More in the days ahead. Reporting in Pringle Borough, Luzerne County, Mandy Mahal, Chicago Eyewitness News. Mark, back and to you. With all that foot traffic, Andy, tough to track down who might be bringing in the bed bugs. School officials point out at no time was there ever a consideration to close the school to deal with these issues.